eJabberD is an XMPP server that is widely used to power either vanilla XMPP installs or XMPP-backed applications. It's one of Erlang's success stories, and it recently added Elixir support. I've linked to the blog post announcing the support in the resources section. I followed that blog post regarding compiling eJabberD with Elixir support. Let's go ahead and see that support in action. So it's got this IEX Live that gives you an IEX console and starts up the eJabberD server. So here we can see that it is in fact uh, Elixir rather than Erlang console. And then we can also interact with it. So we'll go to the eJabberD auth. We're going to register a user for Elixir SIPs on the localhost server. Password my pass. And it was successful. So now we can see if our XMPP client can connect. So I'm going to open up Gajim. And I'll go ahead and make this always on top. So I've actually already added an account, but we'll, we'll do that again. So let me remove the account. That's fine. All right, so we'll add an account. I already have an account. It is Elixir Sips at localhost, and the password is my pass. And we'll connect when I press finish. And I want to connect in securely. Please don't ask again. And you can see that I connected here. So we'll change our status a little bit. Sam away. I'm eating. All right, I'm back. Obviously, nothing nothing changed down here. Okay, so here we've connected to the account with the user that we added from Elixir, so that's pretty good. Uh, now the blog post says for us to build the smallest possible module, but in fact they've already provided it for us. So I'm going to go over here to the source, uh, Erlang eJabberD, and we'll open it up. It's mod presence demo, and this is in the current uh, master of the Git repo. And it's just this Elixir module that doesn't really do a whole lot. You can look. When you start off it adds a set presence hook. Um, it says use this module and hook me in on presence. And then down here, when we receive the onPresence event, it just notifies us we received a presence event for this user. And this none is part of its contract with its callbacks. It says it doesn't really want to um, change anything, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. So um, the next thing we need to do is um, actually enable this, right? So you saw I changed my presence and nothing happened. That's because if we come back here to the server itself, there's this Etsy directory. And it's got an ejbd.yml file. And what we do is there's this modules section. Uh, let me show you where it starts. So these are all the modules that are enabled in all of the eJabberD virtual hosts on this machine. And the order matters, but we'll ignore that for now. I'll come to the bottom, and I will say we want to enable, um, it was mod presence demo. And there's no configuration, so we'll just pass an empty object in. And we'll start back up. OK, so I should connect here. And you can see we received a presence for Elixir SIPs. And I can actually change it, and you'll see we get a new presence update. So that's not that exciting, though, right? All of the presences look the same. So um, this is how far the blog post takes you. Uh, let's see if we can take it a little bit further. So we're going to open up the module again. And we'll come in here, and we'll just go ahead and this last thing is the packet that we get. We're going to go ahead and actually capture it. And then let's just inspect it, right? And so I'm going to go ahead and map comma t to run make and make install. And so that'll actually uh, install it over into my uh, actual running server. Or not into the running server, but into the server's directory. And I could probably reload, but what I've been doing is just restarting the server. So now when I come over here, and once it's finished starting, I change my status. We actually get a presence message. So this is that inspect on the packet. And here you can see what uh, an available stat uh, present status update looks like. We can also go to away, and we'll say we're eating. And here you can see that's a new presence update, but it has this XML show, this show element. It's also got this status element. Status says I'm eating, show says I'm away. So if I change to free for chat, and I say hey guys, or hey folks, you can see my show is chat, and my status is hey folks. So that's kind of what that looks like. Um, we can see what it looks like, but we can make it look nicer, right? So let's go in here, and instead of just inspecting the packet, let's inspect, um, we'll use the XML module, and we'll get a sub tag in the packet, and the tag we want is the show tag. OK, so I'll comma T, and that'll compile. Okay, doke, and we can restart. 
Oop. And now, when we get in here, it should actually be a little bit more interesting, right? So I'm available. Now the available presence message actually has no show tag. Um, but free for chat has a show tag and the C data says chat. Uh, similarly, I can go to away and it's got a show tag, C, C data says away. But we're still not getting that status update, so let's add that. And so that one was just status, so I'm just going to copy and paste and say, hey, let's, let's see the status. And I'll do my comma T. Everything's good to go. Restart. And now I should get a little bit more interesting stuff. So I'm available. That one's not that interesting. But when I come back and say I'm free for chat, and hey, folks, you can see shows chat and status is hey, folks. When I'm away and eating, we get more interesting data, right? So that's pretty good. Um, and we could actually go ahead and get the C data and everything. But for now, I thought this was a nice little start. Um, in the next episode, I think what we're going to do is look at how you can filter packets as they pass through the system. So, for instance, one user could message another user and we could modify what they said. Anyway, uh, I thought this was really neat, and I'll see you soon.